Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Mandy and I'm going to do hopefully a super quick little bloom on this 8 inch round. I had some colors in my head that I think would look really beautiful together. Of course, I don't want to go too long without doing a bloom. I don't want to get too rusty on the blow. So I'm going to show you my colors super fast. Um, I'm going to be finishing with a custom purple I made using Australian Red Violet and Andanthrene Blue, which is very similar to Indigo. Uh, the Andanthrene Blue is from Holbein, and Australian Red Violet is from Matisse. It's a little thick because it hasn't been uh, used in a while, so I may need to thin it down, but beautiful warm purple. So that's the first one. All right, salmon gum from Matisse. It's going to be our bottom layer. The purple I just showed you will probably be the top. I may or may not use a little bit of Australian red violet because I just love it. From Matisse, if I do, it'll be toward the top or drizzled in the middle, so I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to use two pigments. One of them is called Dreamsicle from Color Art. You may have seen the little short video where I posted it. Such a beautiful color. It's kind of an or orangey peach. I don't know why I can't talk. And I got that in the Master Color Library. So don't forget to use my discount code, which is Mandy1120, to save 20% on Color Art. And this is Purple Sage. I also got this from Color Art in the Master Color Library. Um, if you sniff around in that Master Color Library, you might find Eddie the Emu, and if you add him to your cart, um, he'll save you some additional money off your cart in addition to the 20% off. So let's get started. Of course, I'm using the Bloom recipe. Um, if you want a mixing tutorial, I have one in the description box below on what I use generally. I don't always use the same thing, but it's pretty helpful. I'm also using a titanium white cell activator today, which I made using M. Graham acrylic paint and Australian Floetrol. My Australian Floetrol I get from Pixel Paint Designs, which ships from here in the United States. And there's a 10% off discount code in the description box below. It's Mandy10. I'm just thinning down my purple a little bit. It's a little thick, so I'm just adding a little bit of Josonia to it. Unfortunately, that will introduce some bubbles, but since it's my top color, if it's too thick, um, that can definitely make it a lot more difficult to blow out. So it's a little better now. I'm probably still going to have to drizzle it. Um, okay, so let's, I'm using Glidden Premium in satin. Glidden Essentials is fine. I just had some Glidden Premium left over. And unfortunately, when I mixed it, I don't know if you can see those little parts, but there's a lot of bubbles. It was like the bottom of two different cans. And I guess because it was at the bottom and it had been sitting there for a while, it had just a really unusual amount of bubbles. But I have this like bad habit of opening a, a bunch of paint and then like not finishing it. So rather than using my other pillow that I have open, which is Valspar, I was like, you know what, I need to make sure I don't have open cans somewhere around and use them up. So, all right, so hoping this will be really fast because I only have a few minutes anyway. So, first up is Salmon Gum. This is from Matisse. I buy my regular tube paints, the majority of them, online at Blick. And you can shop through my link. It's in the description box also. Um, there's no additional discount codes from Blick, but they have great prices. And if you shop through the link, it just helps my channel. And um, so that's really where I buy most of my supplies. My canvases, other paints. Of course, all my sparkly paint comes from Color Art. 
and there's the 20% off for you guys. I do um, also use Boom Gels and I like global paints and I get those from Pixel Paint Designs. So my pigments are a little bit thin, but this is where I think I'm gonna drizzle the red violet is in between this and that purple sage, just to kind of separate them a little bit. Pigments are um, semi-transparent most of the time, so you get really good results when you drizzle them in between, like kind of layer them in between paints. Um, it just helps with the structure and the color layering. So sometimes, sometimes I'm good about that and sometimes I'm not. This purple's really thin, so I'm gonna kind of take it easy with how much of it I use. And then here's the custom purple. So I don't, I don't want to drown out all the colors, but I need under your cell activator. You generally want to have an acrylic paint, um, and usually, when possible, not a sparkly one, because you're going to get a lot more clearly defined cells that way. So generally, I'm not saying it's a rule, but generally speaking, it's always a good rule of thumb to do your um, kind of your matte or your, not necessarily matte, but your like non-sparkly, non-pigmented acrylic paints toward the top. I have done beautiful blooms with pigments at the top. It's just sometimes you're going to get a lot fuzzier outcomes because they just don't have the same structure as regular paint. Well, and the sparkles tend to introduce some fuzziness into your cell activator. So here's my cell activator. If this goes as it is in my head, it should be beautiful. Now, how I blow it out is always the it's always the wait and see, right? This cell activator got a little bit thick on me too because I left it open while I did a swipe. So that's probably more than I need, but okay. I feel like it's auto-focusing challenges here. Okay, let's see. Okay, I kind of messed up right here. Um, I don't know if I can fix that. This part got kind of crazy. Let me not overly try to correct this. just uh, see what develops. It definitely blew a little hard in the center, so I lost a lot of my purple in the center, so I'm hoping that some comes through right here to surround these cells. I'm just taking a turkey baster and breaking the surface tension a little bit. The colors are beautiful. That custom purple is amazing. It's the first time I've used it on the top, and I Love it. Um, 
Let's see. I'm a little concerned about this part right here, but It may be okay. You know, we're not necessarily going for perfection. We're still practicing. So I have to stop expecting everything to be perfect. Ooh, look what I just did. Maybe I should slow down though. So like I said, this pillow paint has a lot of bubbles in it and it's trying to come through my paint. This is probably gonna go over the edge. So I'm probably wasting time right here. But if I spin it like that, it'll just get bigger. Let's see. I may have just made a really ugly cell in the middle, but let's see. Okay. I think I have enough pillow paint on here that where there's imperfections in my bloom, they're gonna spin out. There is, so the part where I came up a little short was right here. Um, I think, I think we're just gonna give it a gentle spin. These colors are really quite amazing, honestly. My, I'm torn. I think the composition is maybe a little bit more challenged trying to make sure you guys can see. Um, as I spin this out, you can see those stupid bubbles coming from the pillow. If we address them quickly, they probably won't be as big of a deal. See, my center should have a lot of that purple and it doesn't. So I'm wondering if I should just kind of go again really quick. May not have time. because the center is not quite what I would expect it to be. It's pretty, but it's um, like it has so much potential to be really great. The colors are amazing together. And this part right here is kind of odd. So let's just spin it all the way out and see what happens. Um, I don't know you guys, I like it, it's pretty. I think the colors around here are gorgeous, but I am tempted to go again or just do another one. But I may not have time to do that today, so I may have to just kind of call it good and like the lacing and stuff out here is really gorgeous. So I don't know. You guys may need to let me know what you think in the description or in the comments below. This one part that I didn't do such a great job blowing out is it's doing okay. I kind of want to get it to the edge and see, but I don't think it's going to go to the edge. So yeah, I don't know. So this also had some weird clumps in this paint. Like I can see them, I can tell that they're there and they won't come out. There it is. Like I really love it. Um other other than the center. The center is it's not bad. It's just, it's missing the contrast that you have here on the edges. So I'm gonna bring you down for a close up. You let me know what you think. You might see another video where I try it again. I think for today though, that's probably as much time as I've got to mess with it. So let me bring you down and you can let me know. So here she is up close. The colors are amazing. So, um, this part bothers me a little, but if this was the only thing, I think I would probably definitely keep it. This lacing right here kind of got messed up in the blow, and the center, the center is 
composition wise is fine. I just want more contrast like this right here. So I love the colors. I definitely want to do it again. This is kind of what I want to see throughout the bloom right there. So I may need to just sprinkle in um, some more color and just be a little more gentle on the blow. That's, that's kind of what happened there. But, you know, I've come a long way, obviously, from where I was with blowing out my blooms. So I, I just, uh, yeah. The colors are going together exactly like I planned. I just think the composition needed a little work. So you'll see me do another one either at the end of this video or in a future video. Don't have a lot of time right now, so it may be a future video, but let me know what you think. Do you like the colors together? I think I'll probably do a set of coasters with these colors. That custom purple is just gorgeous. It cannot be underestimated. Look how pretty it is, look at it especially with these colors and that is that purple sage color yeah so yeah let me know what you think thanks for watching bye